Hello, good evening, and welcome to your favorite show on national television, Crossroads. And it's a very special episode, guys, because it is our season finale. And remember, it's brought to you by the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports as part of its youth development program. As always, I am your host, Kareem Nelson. Um, but I, I know you guys remember on the last episode, um, we said goodbye to the host who started with me, and that is Jaka Wooding. But don't worry, guys. I've got you covered. We have a new host. So at this point in time, I'd like to welcome our new host, my co-host. <laughs> Hi, Senusha. I am Krista St. Touch, and I, it's a humble honor to be one of your hosts for Crossroads today. And um, it, it's just so good to be here in studio with Kareem and uh -huh. also our first youth creative. And I just want to pass the floor on to her. We have Jordan here with us, <laughs> us in studio. Mm -hmm. And Jordan, hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Kind of <laughs> nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So I want to pass the mic on to you, Jordan Joseph from Miku. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? My name is Jordan Joseph. I am 19 years old and I am going to be graduating on December 4th from South CC, South And I am the owner of the Jordan Art Studio. Oh my so God. what what is the Jordan Art Studio? Just a short intro, like well, there you guys do. The Jordan Art Studio, Art Studio, we mainly turn visions from a process into an act, an actual memory. We create paintings, graphic designs, logos, business cards, basically turning any painting or photo into a memory and a business into a brand. I love that description. And how long have you been doing that? I currently have one year. One year. Okay. Celebrated one year this year. Still new in the business, but mm -hmm. all right. So instead of exhausting the people with words, we actually have a video we went down to your community and shot. Um, so we just like to give our viewers a little insight into who Jordan is. So, my name is Kayla Charles, I am Jordan's cousin. Well, we didn't grow up initially together in the same household or you know, at Grindler's house or anything but we have a close relationship as cousins. She has always had the passion for drawing and arts. Before she began officially the business, she was usually just you know, doing a little something here and there, just trying to work on her skills. I would say that her skills have improved dramatically from before to now with her mixing of the different paints for the backgrounds especially those for the um are you calling these the silhouettes i like the silhouettes because i find that the it draws attention from the background because you have such an outstanding background that the black sil silhouette just draws everything together and I find that now she's trying to mix and match and actually branch out into different stuff we still within the arts as in going now into t-shirts and also thinking of doing bags and other stuff that's a very nice thing that I like I would say that I am very proud of her in particular for keeping it up because I for one I'm into the arts but I don't keep it up so I find that she has a zeal for it and I find that that's a great motivation because she keeps at it and she looks at ways of improving and making better stuff and also adding more interesting stuff to the arts because art is a very difficult thing to pursue especially in St. Lucia so the fact that she has that zeal that's very impressive and that's very inspiring so i do hope that she keeps it up she keeps improving because she has done such a tremendous job and there's so much more that she will accomplish in time to come my name is jody tissuit and i am sarah Lee's cousin um, i grew up with sarah lee from when we started hanging out together from five years. Um, her passion for sports was very common to everyone. I didn't really know that she could have draw. Um, she started doing graphic designs at first and then I, I believe that her passion for drawing became stronger. The drawing started very 
poor at first and over the years I saw her progress increasing. She started doing well, her colors, her edges and the imagination started to get better. My message to Jordan is to continue working hard and to continue pursuing her dreams. Of Jordan, whom she would be a little bit troublesome, but at school, the teachers always say she's the best student. Sometimes I would ask, as in, if they're sure of what they're saying. Those, I mean, they would complain about trouble she would do well at school. First, she would, her books, she wouldn't stay without a book. She would always read a book when she wake up. If it's her book she pick up, that's what she'll do until she she's satisfied. I realized she was interested in arts when she was in form two. She used to form, she used to ask for uh, for equipment. I find she's improving very well because she started with she couldn't before she couldn't even draw a stick man, but. <laughs> But <laughs> now she could she could draw she could draw her do a silhouette she uh, her painting her painting she would take like most of them sometimes she take a day or a day or two I'm proud of how far she have come and I'm hoping that she keep on improving in whatever she she's doing. Now, Jordan, I don't want to knock on you too hard, <laughs> but it seems like <laughs> all your family members said that you were, well, you left a lot to be desired when you started. So where did that love um, come from? Like, how did you uh, get into the arts? Because it wasn't something you were good at. So how did, how did that come about? I think it came about in Form 2 when I was first introduced to visual arts yeah. from my visual arts teacher. He's no longer a teacher at Beanfield now, but we still keep in touch. He still asks me about my paintings and stuff. But I fell in love with it in Form 2. And I just went from there. I saw different aspects in art, and I just wanted to try everything. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to look at to try everything. Okay, so it's kind of like a continuous journey. Yes, because um, I hear people who are interested in arts like something they do from a young age, but it seems like your teacher really cultivated, or maybe it was in form two. You got that interest, and you just you yeah. just keep you kept working at it. Yes, I Very did. Very inspirational. So, what were some challenges that you you may have came across in your journey? You started pretty late for an artist. So, what are some journeys between then and now that you I some think, challenges? I think it would be time management. Because I started at school, so I had to manage studying, my school, and then art. Because I would go to sleep at 11 a.m. and then wake up, after to go to school, after to study. So probably time management. And now having a business, I think it would just be trying to find, put everything financially, put everything properly, mm -hmm. try and fit my time, money, and just everything else into art try and get my time to time for everything time for art time for school time for life time mm -hmm. for being a teenager i think these are one of the challenges these are some of the challenges i had so do you think that this is something you're going to do you're going to continue doing you you want this to be like when people think of you they think of your your art most definitely i want to continue i want to branch out of painting graphic design probably start doing tattooing face painting wow. okay. and just other stuff that art have that i'm interested in and want to learn about mm -hmm. it's very much giving youth 
entrepreneurship and I really want to applaud All you right. for that. So I want to take a little quirky question and ask you. I mean, it's very, I can't say it's very easy to paint, but to paint well. And as you can see from some of the paintings we have here in the studio, um, you know, how has that journey been? Your, I mean, many of your relatives said you cannot trust the right. painting. <laughs> so uh -huh. um, would you say that painting, the journey itself was kind of difficult? It was kind of difficult because I started late. Honestly, my portraits now and my portraits in probably like 2015, I don't think you'd recognize it <laughs> at oh. all. They were horrible. And I would look back on them and I'm like, I really drew that? that yeah. <laughs> That's and I think, crazy. Yeah, I think you're in a really unique position as an artist. And I think that many young artists or people who, who really want to try out art but are really afraid that they, they, they can't draw a stick figure. You are one of the people, or especially the young people, that they can pull inspiration from. So if there's any young person who is interested in art or has no interest whatsoever but might try it one day, what is one thing or just some things you want to let them know? I think I would tell them to try it anyways. I have so many different things to do. Mm -hmm. You could just take a brush, add some paint, pass it on a canvas, and you get $2 million. It's that <laughs> easy. <Right. laughs> that easy. Yeah. Just try it. Anything becomes art, no matter what. If you create something, if you make it, you paint it, it's basically everything in here. Everything is art. Yeah. Right. Everything is created. God created everything. So that's one of the major artists. So mm -hmm. I think you just, just enter it. Just try it out. Right. And I think we have some of your best, I, I think you would bring some of your best pieces with us. So one question I want to really investigate is how do you come up with a concept, you know, for these pieces and for any pieces that you're interested in creating? How do I come up with a concept? <laughs> um, honestly, I use Pinterest. I use Pinterest, Pinterest. Instagram, <laughs> yeah. Facebook, anywhere gives it to me. And... I mostly use Pinterest. I would go on Pinterest, come up with an idea. If I have a theme, I would mm. search the theme or something related to the theme. And then I would just come up with my ideas using different pictures, different other ideas from people to mm. make mine. Okay. So that mine is unique and it's not like everybody else. Oh, your yeah. one little Jordan twist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I, uh, creatives, um, you know, they do different things to get in the zone, you know, to, whether it's to writing a song, painting, whatever, whatever. So how do you kind of zone in to try to create these masterpieces, yeah? How do you, um, what do you do? Is it like something where you uh, put, lock yourself in your room, you go outside, what do you, what do, you do? I need peace and quiet, but mm. I cannot get that at home. Ah. So I would try music. I would listen to probably seven different types of genres of music while mm. painting. Mm. So I think I would only use music. If I don't get music, I would probably lock myself in the room. The room, <laughs> right. <laughs> or I would watch a podcast. I would watch a movie and most likely get the concentration that I need right. to actually paint. Okay. Right. Well. Um, and, you know, we continuously said it was something that you had to... Um, you, you kind of had to learn it was a process learning since yeah. you started out in form two. Um, what was that realization that you needed peace and quiet, you needed this thing to ground you as you do your work, particularly as you um, cross into the business realm of it all? What was that process finding your, your grounding? I think... Was it messy? <laughs> no, I think the first day I realized I, I stayed up until 12 in the morning to do a painting. Wow. I was like, wow, I need to do this something. Right, yeah. I need to. <laughs> yes, I never take so long in my life to ever do a portrait. And I think just taking so long to do it, I find like I had to get something for me to actually say like, okay, I'm going to continue doing this and this is how I'm going to do my paintings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And you mentioned time management. So, you know, getting to that realization, you can now properly manage your time and know what really gets you in a space yeah. to yeah. to do what you have to do. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it would be remiss of me to have you bring all <laughs> these paintings here and not ask you about them. This looks really, really nice. Um, I know paintings usually have a story. So, Ooh. what's the story behind this one? Honestly, this one had no story, but <laughs> it made it, it gave itself a story. 
It's actually my first ever portrait I've done without any help. Without okay, so any like three million dollars. Without any help. <laughs> Not in Lucia, but yeah. probably. I yeah. did it without any help. It's the first ever painting to go to my first ever art exhibition. Oh. And I was so proud of it. And I was like, I'm not selling this one. Not Absolutely not. not. I was just so about to tell you. Okay. <laughs> let me hold, let me hold that. But anyway, I mean, um, it's, it's a wonderful possible. piece. Though. Can you tell us a little bit more about the art exhibition? The art exhibition, I think it was a school competition. Not really. It was held in Bellevue Primary School. Right and they had different artists coming about showcasing their art as well so not only mine and like the schools but other known artists they came with their drawings their sculptures photography mm -hmm. and different stuff like that so how old were you then i think i was probably 14 14, 14. Okay. so then you painted this when you were 14 too short. Oh, she can't remember. <laughs> too many, too yeah. many masterpieces yeah. going on. Yeah, She's right. not too sure. You have but, to move on to. But what's the story about the one? The one next. The one next to you. This one seems so kind of sentimental. <laughs> um, it's kind of. I think this is Tisha in Tisha and his brothers from the mm. play, mm -hmm. and we had to. We had a specific theme. We had to draw a part in the play, and I drew the part where he was singing after he defeated the devil. Mm using his different tricks. But this one, I got help from one of the leaders at the at the competition, and then this one came to life. Yeah. All right, right. You love that one. You're not selling that one, too. <laughs> this one, I can get rid of this one. Okay, <laughs> Don't say uh, get rid. Um, she can, the bidding starts as at $100,000. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, but I don't know, well, I cannot reach it, um, but there's, this i think on the left for our viewers but my right um a portrait of your your sister yes. um so you want to tell us a little bit about um that painting in particular and why you uh yeah. decided to do that one that painting oh my gosh this one it's kind of emotional because she died in 2019 and i just wanted something to give her mother because we don't have the same mother Okay. So I just wanted something to remember her by and I didn't have, I didn't know her that much growing up, mm -hmm. but she was still my sister, would still meet, would still hang out. So I just wanted something to remember her by, so I drew her and I just, I just couldn't give it to her mother, just it being there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've come so far to wrapping it and bringing it myself, but I can't get to see to do that, so. Mm -hmm just hair it's just well it's a it's a wonderful painting and mm -hmm. i think yeah, and i feel like it. yeah i feel like it's so special that you've developed this kind of art form this form of expression that when you came through a tough time in your um in your journey as an artist you're able to use it to you know just get those emotions out yeah. Right. um yeah and as we come to a close yes. of this can you just you know bring us back to your business where we can find you on social media you can find me on social media like Instagram, Facebook at the Jordan Art Studio. Mm -hmm. I am on TikTok as well. Ooh, okay. I right. so many videos. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> In the times, all right. Right. And I am on Pinterest as well, but not too well. Mm -hmm. And you can catch me on get me on WhatsApp, call me, message me at seven two six fifty two eighty three. Okay. Right. And you don't only do paintings, you do uh, graphic, graphic design. Just yeah. just run me through it. I do paintings, graphic design, which include logos, business cards, um, posters. Um, I do graphic designs for shoots. I also paint on shoots as well. And I'm trying to do dive into face painting, tattooing, anything. Hmm. Tattooing. So, <laughs> <laughs> Long lasting imagery. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's okay. nice. All uh, right. So, um, I know you're just kind of starting up into the business, but how's, how's it been going so far? It's been going well? Well, coming out of school now, it's fantastic. <laughs> I can do it every day, all day, any time of the week, any time of the month. That's all I think about. That's all I do. So I think it's, I think it's amazing. It's going great. I'm here with you guys. <laughs> so I think it's going great. I love it. All right. Okay. So I'd like to thank you so much for speaking to us this evening and letting mm -hmm. St. Lucia know about the talent that is on the island. 
Um, but for now, we're going to take a short break. And then when we come back, we're going to be welcoming Alpha Fusion. Mm -hmm. Still pan band, so just hold on with us and we'll be right back. Yeah. Let me tell you how I'm looking. God made man. Man made money. She's so fine, man. She's a vibe. God made woman to eat my money. She's been watching, waiting, wondering when the sands of time will give way to a tide of change and for yesterday and today to become a new tomorrow, for a time when her sun can kiss the cheeks of your loved one and her stars can twinkle in her honeymoon skies, when her earthly embrace will reassure and calm your soul. Her unique view can change your whole perspective. Proudly, she has risen to meet new challenges and to provide safe harbor to all who reach her shores. For her hopes and dreams still stand shoulder to shoulder, a precious reminder of experiences yet to come. So, wherever your moments and memories take you. Let her sense of adventure set you free. She is Saint Lucia. So welcome back to Crossroads. We're back and we're, um, I would say this show, South Massive representing. So we spoke to Jordan earlier. She had her paintings on display. But now we have a set of some talented people. There. We have some real talented people there from Alpha Fusion, a steel pan band. Um, so I'd just like to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves. Um, so let's start with, let's start with you. <laughs> My name is Jason Hippolyte. Um, I work at Caribbean Greens, but I'm also a soloist and a part of Alpha Fusion. Still pan soloist, that is. All right, cool. Uh, Jay? <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Jessani Peter. I'm from Chozelle, talking about the South. Chozelle Massive. That's Massive, right. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a teacher by profession. Nice. And Mr. Yes, Hippolyte? My yeah. name is Ms. Um, Belon Hippolyte. Yeah. Yes, I am a music teacher by profession. And I'm also the band leader for Alpha Fusion. Wow. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just going to start off light, you know, not anything too difficult. I just want to know how you guys got into steel band. Um, it's something that's risen to prominence a lot in recent years in San Lucia. It's always been there, but it's become way bigger, and I think you guys are helping that wave. Um, so just tell me how you got into, into steel band, starting with Jason. Well, yeah. I started from a young age. Um, it was actually my mother who told me about steel band, and then afterwards I applied, and then you know, from there, was things have <laughs> been going. Yeah. Things have been going up. Yeah. <laughs> you see and, that. All right, and you? Well, it was from my previous job working um, in the entertainment department in the hotel industry, right. and uh, I met those guys. And this instrument told me, "Hey, you need to learn." 
-hmm. It pulled me. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, um, I actually was walking. I was as a little young boy, about 10 years old. Yeah. And I heard some really nice music coming from a certain building. So I went towards that building yeah. and I saw the steel pan. I saw everybody enjoying themselves and I said, you know what, I need to be part of this. Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, okay. so Alright, so we've heard how they started off, um, but we're actually going to show you guys some of their talent live. Um, so just take a look at what Alpha Fusion has been up to with this video. My name is Dorothea Joseph. I am Donnell Bissett's mother. Donnell is a, used to be a member of the Steel Pan Orchestra. Um, Jason is his friend. They've grown up together practically from kindergarten right up to Sir Arthur. So they're really close. So I, I can say that I have been Jason's mother also. So as they, 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 as they grew up, they, got it, they didn't get into much trouble. They didn't get into trouble like, you know, like young men would get into trouble going to bars, steal and whatever, whatever. But Jason was the more troublesome one. And not because Donald is my son, but Jason was the more troublesome one. I remember I taught at the Miku Secondary School when they were in grade kindergarten or grade one. And they were coming over to my school and Jason went to play in the gate of the school and the gate was not a very strong one it was not very good and the gate fell on the two of them And then, of course, when Jason started with Pan, Doyle followed him. They did everything together. These boys went everywhere together, did everything together. And the only time they stopped was when Donnell went over overseas and Jason stayed there. There were times when they got home quite late. But because I knew that they were not getting into trouble, and I knew that, you know, what they were doing was a good thing. They were playing steel pan, they were practicing, and so I wouldn't really beat, beat up on, them, on him for it and so um, there were times when Jason would come home, sleep over because they got home so late and um, that kind of thing. Jason has really, Jason has really made me proud because Jason has kept at it. He's he's not he's not given up, and he's grown from strength to strength. Jason has really did well. I think he's gotten I think he's gotten awards for playing steel pan, and um, he's very good at it too because he's kept at it. He's really done his best. I'm glad that he never dropped out. That he never you know, gave up, he never stopped, but he just continued going and going and going and going. Donnell would have been, if Donnell were here, he would have been at Jason's side and the two of them would have been going. Because up to now, Donnell, recently Donnell sent me a video of the Antigua um, performance. That was, that was in 20, we were in 2022, so that would have probably been in 20, 18, 19, thereabout. Yes, and they went. They attended the panorama 
competition in Antigua. So that was that for me. That was a milestone for them because it was the furthest they had gone with the sea fan. All of those things, I think, really, I think doing these things helped them to stay out of trouble. It helped them to stay focused. It helped them to gain, um, to not be shy, to gain confidence, self-esteem. All those things helped them to grow. And of course, we want to learn a little bit more about Alpha Fusion, the band itself. So what was the history behind the formation of Alpha Fusion? Um, Anybody can take it. Anybody <laughs> want, I have a um, I've been playing this band for a very long time. Uh, I've gone through bands, different bands. I've learned a lot. Um, Alpha Fusion was formed when I, I decided to take the bull by the horn and actually dive into ba getting my own steel pan and bringing everybody on board and actually just start a band. I started this band actually January of this year. Oh yeah. wow. okay. But um, yeah. we have been playing for a while together mm -hmm. and then we just put ev everybody came together and we created a band. The band name, Alpha Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> how did that band name come yeah, up? Name um, come it's up. actually yeah. one of the players. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. One of the so I imagine that there will be some challenges, particularly starting as a group. Um, so. I would say so um, recent, so much so recent. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some challenges that you may have experienced since then? Um, challenges, we have challenges with um, pans. You know, uh, pans are very expensive. Yeah. One could cost you maybe $3,000, $4,000 for only one. So it's, it's a lot trying to get the funds to get uh, pans. So far we have had, um, about maybe 10 pans. We've yeah. able to make up some money and get our 10 pans. Um, but that's one one of the challenges. The second challenge is having a base place to practice. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have um, a, a base where we practice um, so far, right now. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, since I'm a teacher, I get access to the school, mm -hmm. so I get them to practice there, but um, we don't have one place to practice for, um, so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so but still you persist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but despite the challenges, I can't help but notice when you guys are behind those pans, you have the biggest smiles on your faces. <laughs> yeah enjoying the music so i just want to know personally where did that love i know you spoke about getting started but where did that love for steel pan come from or what did, when did it start being com becoming something that you really enjoy doing i would like to throw the question to yeah. all three of you would ever like to um start off like where the love and passion came from hmm. well, for me it came from throughout the years staying there and playing you know you know when you start playing and sometimes you wouldn't get a part and then you and then you get it and you learn many songs you see people dancing to the music that you play right. and some i made videos sometimes and people would actually support me right. all these things helped me to really love and continue and push me forward in playing steel band as for me it came from something that i wanted to match my character and um ever since i was a little girl i always wanted to learn an instrument I started learning how to play the piano. However, with the piano, it's dead. If you <laughs> are not singing very well, you know to join with it. And when I got um, exposure to the still plan, I realized it has a hype. It mm. has everything that vibe. matches who I am. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and you, Bella? Uh, well, for me, uh, actually, when I first joined band and uh, they played one of my favorite songs, I would actually go on the ground and do something we call, I call the womb. You know, <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. yeah, but from there I've, I've just enjoyed it. It's, it's just a joy to play your own music. Not right. your own music, you didn't write it, right? right. But right. we play the music and we, we enjoy it. And, and this is just something that is fantastic. You've been on the stage, you've seen somebody else dancing to what you play, mm -hmm. yep. and you the more, you're dancing even more. You <laughs> know? Yeah. So that is just amazing, a bomb on the stage. And as somebody who somebody who, who is yet to learn how to play yeah. an instrument <laughs> i know that it's difficult learning anything that's new so 
How was it like learning steel pan? It was a learning yeah. curve, like. Well, as long as you want to, you will trust me. And um, I don't like the way you start that. Well, <laughs> some people say well, I know it's a bit difficult, but you know. <laughs> because she's saying um, she's yet to. Yeah, right, right. So, like I'm saying, as long as you want to do this, you will. And uh, keeping consistent with going to practices and getting it done, you will. All right. Um, but I know you mentioned you started the, the group self in January, but you guys have been um, playing for, playing for a while. while. But I realize it's still a young, a young core. Yes. Um, so, I mean, this show is about young people, and you guys are literally the personification of that, a young band starting it off and, and, and having it rolling. Um, so just speak about like rallying the youth, especially um, within the different communities, because I Shozel, Miku, that's different areas there. Yep. Rallying them together and getting them to play. So just if you can just speak about that. Well, um, even with the previous band that I was with, uh, we would do workshops, a lot of workshops, especially when school closed. Uh, we would have about maybe 30 and a half, maybe 25 young students starting from five, five years old. Right. Um, we have some, I, I even taught some older folks as well going to 65 retirement stage yeah, okay. you know they, they everybody gets the experience of it um, so that's one of the ways that we, we go out um, I actually conducted a, a workshop in Deriso the community of Deriso um, this past summer right mm -hmm. during the summer with the little 10 pounds I had yeah. but I had 10 mm -hmm. pounds and I have about 20, 20 players 20 students behind there two to a pound you know it was it was just amazing yeah. right. mm -hmm. so that's how we go about we um, but for now, it's just a little difficult, but then we we are rallying, we try, and okay. being on the show here is actually rallying as well. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how has the year treated Alpha Fusion? You know that carnival season passed. How's the year been? You mentioned the workshop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the year has been great. It's been great. I could say we've we've accomplished a lot in this one yeah. year. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. for us to see, okay, we started the band, and I was renting bands. I was renting bands so almost like what four or four four months mm -hmm. actually the first set of pants that i got i got it from canaries so i drove from miku mm -hmm. to canaries to borrow pants commitment yeah, yeah. borrow yeah. pants i did that <laughs> twice and i was like oh, okay that that's a lot so when we got somebody who was willing to rent the pants for us we did that for a while and then we made enough money so that we could buy so it's, it's a lot we've accomplished in this short space of time. Mm -hmm. I, I think it is short. Maybe it's <laughs> yeah, I think it's long. Yeah. It's <laughs> one of the highlights. Uh -huh. Can you share one of them with us? The highlights of, of creating oh, the band? No, of, of this year. Of the this year? Of this no, year. this year. My highlight for me was the workshop. The workshop, the workshop was, yeah. it touched my heart. Everybody just seeing the students and me back at doing the workshops, it has was just my, my mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, <coughs> and up to now, even when, you know, previously we mentioned that we don't have a situated place, mm -hmm. sometimes we play just in the outside area of a school, and whilst we play, we get persons coming in and asking Aww. us to be a part wow. of that. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> well, that's Book a Alpha Fusion. Well, yeah. <laughs> Give the fellas a place fusion. to play their pan, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I just want to ask, uh, you know, just a final question. Um, what's, each of you, what's your favorite song to perform and why because i would assume okay individually what's your favorite song to perform and then as a collective what would it be so i'll just start with off of off with the individual one so jason just give me so well, yours and for why. me it would be plenty loving mm. a lot yeah. why yeah. there's a lot of <laughs> movement and That's coordination why? yeah sure it's not the lyrics of the song <laughs> well. <laughs> well yeah that, that, that was a part of playing it too uh, yeah. To be honest, I do not have a favorite song, just as long as it has a hype. But I tend to love the Zook genre. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. And for me, it's Iron Band. <laughs> Iron Band is a very old song, right. but it's a very hype song. Yeah. If you look at the videos from way before, the dance from Iron Band, I love that dance. So, right. so that's my favorite song, Iron Band. And which song would get the entire collective hype? Like you're out playing. Horn. Horn. Yeah. Yeah. Horn. <laughs> you looking for Horn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how has the support been to our Fusion? It's been great actually, especially in the community of Deriso. Like, we get a lot of support, even in Miku and, and Viewford as well. Yeah, but the support has been there. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now people might see you guys playing and you mentioned your favorite songs. They might feel, you know what, that easy. Uh -huh. You know, you, we can do that. Especially it's a very, I find this instrument, you hit it, you hear a nice sound, you feel, mm -hmm. you want. <laughs> so <laughs> what's the, um, how, how difficult it is? is it to learn these songs and 
it's different like i mean as a solo artist you'll be you know you make your mistakes whatever but when you have a collective trying to learn a song what how is that how difficult is it to learn a song um well depends on how long that you've been playing pan yeah. um because our group has been playing for a while it, uh, we can cover a song in one night we are able to learn a song in one night um, that does not mean that we won't make mistakes yeah. the next day we make, <laughs> make full of <laughs> mistakes but um it it, it it varies depending on how long that you've been playing no. maybe if you've been playing for about three months um it may take a little while maybe about two days to learn one right. song but then again it's you how persistent are you yeah, yeah. so if you're not consistent you find you play rusty yeah mm. Right. It happens to me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so, you said, um, so how often do you guys uh, try to practice and, yeah, and... Because <laughs> that's, that's a really difficult <laughs> question. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. At first, we, we, we had a, a set day as, as Wednesday. Every Wednesday mm, would come right. and practice, right? But um, things have not been looking up, uh, well in the school because yeah. they were, we were used to practice in the library. And uh, you know, library yeah, music, yeah, yeah. that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> right? that so, okay, that exactly. So, um, it's been a while we've practiced, but we are on the stage almost every week. So, mm. it actually gives us practice while we are on the stage. Yeah. Yes. So now, you mentioned being on the stage every week. Playing in the comfort of the school environment, you know, would be chill or whatnot. Mm -hmm. How do you guys switch it on? time to perform because I would I would think nerves would be high I did like boy if I knock the wrong side of the <laughs> band all them kind of thing so how is it for you guys on a performance night I just want to ask each of you because I know you'd have your own individual experiences yeah. on the night so how is a well, performance night um, for you well, guys? as you said well for you you on the stage every time yeah. you would get used to it okay. you'd be nervous after a while so for us we've been playing for many years so the nervousness it's not there anymore mm -hmm. yeah okay. And, and you? He spoke for himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, playing with a band, it's different. So even when you do make a mistake, your band, they have your back. So you'll be able to maneuver and just act like you never did a mistake. Yeah. 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 But Jason will hear. Of course. Yeah, of and course. later, behind the scenes, Jay, why did you do that? Jay, that well, wasn't the right yeah. note. Those yeah. are the ears for feel bad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I can sense uh, um, like some camaraderie between you guys, um, almost like a family. And I know uh, even in the video, um, Donnell's mother, um, she spoke about the connection you have with him. It's unfortunate he couldn't be here. Yeah. Um, but just speak about that. You guys are not just a group of young people playing band. No. It seems that you guys are family and we this is something point. you guys enjoy doing. So just speak about the, the family aspect of, of playing band together. Well, we try to be honest towards one another, help um, help each of us out. So if you see like someone is carrying something, you would assist them. Yeah. If someone has a problem, if someone is down, you come and ask them what happened. Because all that can affect our performance while we play. So we try and keep each other up and help each other out in any way that we can. Mm -hmm. How did the band come together? You mentioned everybody kind of got this passion for steel pan at different times in their life. Yeah. How did you guys... Especially if I try to start my it? solo career and you're telling oh me, come and, <laughs> join, come and join a, a can, pan. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead, bro. So, well, yeah, yeah, so just how, how did it, like, you're getting all these personalities, different people to, together, together, to work yeah. together, yeah. Well, it, starts, it stems from the, the workshop. The workshop is where you, you get, well, I did workshops and I met a lot of young people. Through the workshop, you, you are able to connect. Um, you can see who is um, willing to play, who's really who's enjoying the music as well. So through this, we can, we create bonds just through the workshop, and then practice. It your bonds get stronger. You get it's like this guy's just your brother, this one is your sister. Mm -hmm. So you check up on each other, and it's, it just grows yeah. from there. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's passion. You guys spoke about how you have grown to love steel pan and everybody has their own individual career path but this is something you keep coming back to so when did we kind of take a turn you created a group when did you take a turn to be in a business and something viable you can you know you can brag about let's go <laughs> <laughs> well um i've learned a lot uh, actually i learned everything from i, I know from um Zoro Griffith, right? i'm gonna you know, mention his name especially steel pan yeah. and uh, one thing that I've, i have understood is, is your talent is yours mm -hmm. right um and 
you know, sometimes it's, it's not everybody wants to work in a factory, you know, building something and whatnot. Um, so when I discovered that there is actually an avenue where we could go and play, just literally play what we enjoy and make some income, that's when we actually went into it and started actually taking it serious okay. and going into this um, avenue. Okay. Yeah. But you know, typically when people start businesses, sometimes ego does try and creep in there and them kind of thing. Has there been any um, issues like that or you know, it's just yeah. working for the greater cause, man? <laughs> we, yeah, but you know, it, it, we try to team, team this thing, yeah. you know, because yeah. you want everybody to be on the same level. We're trying to grow together. We're not yeah. trying one person to grow and this one not. Uh -uh. Yeah. Everybody needs to come together. We have set one goal and we work up towards that one goal. That's mm -hmm. one thing. That's Kermit's trying to extract the tea. Boys. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> so what does the future for Alpha Fusion kind of look like? What are you guys, what are you guys working to it? Um, well, I personally, I, I, not just personally, but for the band, I want the band to grow in the, the community of Deriso. Um, the community of Deriso has been very supportive again to, to us. And I have a lot of students there actually, because I teach at the Deriso school mm -hmm. um, who want to learn. So for us, I want the band to become like 80 players, have 80 bands, and we're going to Panorama, and we win Panorama, you know, yeah. and bring the trophy back to the community of Deriso. And then for us to extend, you know what, we, in Deriso, we've accomplished this, we go to Sozel, mm -hmm. and we create a band there as well, big you up, know, big up. and then we, you know, <laughs> good. <laughs> That's yeah. actually a personal future plan that I have. And I believe the same way that I'm in support with Mikud coming from Sozel, um, later on, we create a band in Chazelle, persons interested, my team here will assist as well. Mm -hmm. Because um, we don't have that exposure down in Chazelle. And every time, you know, people ask me, where you play pan? I mean, there are other places closer yeah. to Chazelle, but they freak out and say, me could, oh, me could. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I imagine many young minds have been um, inspired by each of you individually, but by Alpha Fusion in general. Um, share one of those anecdotes you know maybe a little person just came up to you and said oh my gosh you're not a yeah. fan i wish i could be fan like that <laughs> have, have you had any experience yeah. like that? many times <laughs> yes. yes many times mm -hmm. Imagine I would walk into the school with a steel pan. All the students would be like, so what's that? What? I want That's to play that. Yes. I want to. And when I tell them what it is, once they hear the sound of it, they're like mesmerized. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And they want to learn how to play it, you know? Okay. Yeah. So, so a nice little me. hub for steel pan players in the same show. <laughs> okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But notwithstanding the, um, notwithstanding the group goals, um, but what are, you, what are your personal goals um, for pan? Like, where do you see yourself uh, going with this? You might want to be band leader forever. Yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might want to, you know, be a star. Break but <laughs> but uh, so just tell us, um, just, just in your, like, your personal goals, I'll start with you. Um, well, me, I, I would love to keep it as something that will be my piece, something I can go to when I'm stressed and right. play, also play meant to many different places, tell people and show them what I am capable of. Also, teach people when I have the time and make it something I can have in the long run, like for a very long time. For me, for the fun and the enjoyment to continue matching my character and um, as a teacher, as a profession, um, you know, to teach persons about it as well, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, for me, I, I believe in passing on the battle. Mm. Yes, uh, right now, um, the band has gotten to a point where it doesn't really need me to be there to play. It's just where I, I... But you don't have the class. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> so it's not that. I mean, like, um, the, the players, I, I teach everything that I know to them, and then they take it, they run with it, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't expect to be band leader forever. I, I really want, you know, somebody else to come up and do the same thing that I'm doing, you know? Because it's all about growth, learning, and um, moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how I say it. And for quite some time, Steel Pan has had its place in St. Lucian culture. So, you know, it's something we admire. It's something that, you know, um, it has taken a forefront in the music. Music in St. Lucia, we have Panorama. Um, it, it just connects us to ourselves as St. Lucians. And it's more and more respected as the years go by. Mm -hmm. um, just pass. <laughs> How was for you guys? It was great. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we played a lot of nice uh, Creole music as well, but we were more in the hotels during this time. Yeah, yeah. but um, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. All right, enjoyed so it. we've spoken to you guys. <laughs> and you guys are going to play, but just before that, we're going to have Mids in Motion. 
um, just to show you what the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports is up to. So let's, let's take a look at that. Youth workers from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports hosted a Children's Day Fair at the Stanley John Odlum Memorial Secondary School. The Ministry thanks students for wholeheartedly competing and supporting the 2022 Inter-School Sports Programme. The Leoness Secondary School defeated Super Comprehensive at the Under-19 Basketball Finals. The Super Comprehensive Secondary School placed first in the Inter-Schools Under-15 Netball Festival. On Thursday, November 17th, the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports presented their progress report for the period April to September 2022. Director of Sports, Jim Xavier, held a meeting with staff of the VG Complex to discuss refurbishment works as the Ministry moves towards improving the sporting venue for users. Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Honorable Kenson Kazime, met former Minister for Sports of Trinidad and Tobago, Brent Sancho, and officials of the St. Lucia Football Association on Tuesday, 15th November to move forward plans for the commencement of a semi-professional football league. She's been watching, waiting, wondering when the sands of time will give way to a tide of change and for yesterday and today to become a new tomorrow. For a time when her son can kiss the cheeks of your loved one and her stars can twinkle in her honeymoon skies. When her earthly embrace will reassure and calm your soul. And her unique view can change your whole perspective. Proudly, she has risen to meet new challenges and to provide safe harbor to all who reach her shores. For her hopes and dreams still stand, shoulder to shoulder, a precious reminder of experiences yet to come. So, wherever your moments and memories take you, let her sense of adventure set you free. She is Saint Lucia. So, we've changed location, we're on stage, pans ready, <laughs> so the guys are going to grace us with a very special performance, so if we can just get some music and we're going to have them play. Enjoy.
just from watching you guys, this looks way more difficult than <laughs> than, than I thought it was. But I'm intrigued to learn just a few. Just a few little things. Uh, so just, just come across. So so just come across. Come on, come on. Right, Both so of you, actually. Good. We have two fans. We have yeah. two oh persons. Come on. So I've, dra- I've come been dragging. <laughs> Like Tonight you're gonna become mm. professional pan Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have six on that side. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So, all right. so all we're gonna do the C note. We're oh. gonna to roll on that C note today. All right. Yeah. So you're gonna be rolling here. This is as yeah. Left, right, left, right. Both of your hands. Right. Yeah. Right. We just roll on the note. Okay. Nice and soft, not too loud. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You see? Yeah. Well, it's good. It's good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let, 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 <laughs> let me give you another. Let's play this note and stay on the stay on the same note you are. We're gonna play the E. Yeah, e? that's E. Yes. Roll together. Let's go to me. Yeah. That's sweet still pan here. You guys wow. just play a chord here. You just play the chord. That's amazing. Wow. Ah <laughs> oh boy, Jason, I coming for you. Okay. <laughs> Jason, please together, man. You. Oh of course, gosh. of course. All right. So. Um, we're nearing the end. It was a very, very fun episode. So thank you guys for um, coming through. Um, but just before we leave, Crossroads Season 1 would not have been possible without our many sponsors. Ministry of Youth Development and Sports, um, Government Information Services, KFC, DBS, and Event St. Lucia. So thank you guys so much. And for those you guys don't see behind the screen, guys like Marklin, who's signaling me right now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Mark Lynn Remy, um, obviously Barry, uh, and everyone, Randy, I know always coming clutch with mids and motion, Sasha, everyone. So thank you. And but I know this is the season finale, but don't cry guys, we will be back. I promise you we will be back next year, February. Just stay tuned. And thank you all for joining us this season. Alright, so guys, just give us a little outro. You know?